couple of weeks ago, I was working on a knife. I looked over at my forge and I noticed the top of the forge was glowing red, which is not a good thing. So I hurried and turned it off and I ordered the insulation and the Satanite knife to coat the forge. So I did a quick patch job just so I could heat treat a knife I was working on. And you can see there's certain parts where the insulation is showing. I did take out the top, I had it coated, but that was all crumbled, so I'm gonna be doing it different this time. I ordered the KO wool and Satanite, which I've never used before. So here's the KO wool. I paid around thirty dollars for this much. A KO wool is like the insulation in your house, but it's made to withstand really high temperatures like a forge. I'm ready to mix the Satanite. First I'm going to get some painter's tape and just block all this off so I don't get any of the Satanite on the uh, on the forge. So now I'm going to pour the Satanite in this bucket. And I want to get the consistency of a, a milkshake. I'm going to pour little bits of water until I get the right consistency. I want to make sure I don't add too much so I'm going to do it slowly until I get to where I want. All right, so I've got every piece of the insulation covered with the Satanite. Now I'm gonna clean it up, and then I'll let it sit for 24 hours, cure it, and then it'll be all good to go. Now I did save a little bit in the bag in case there's some spots I didn't see after it's dry that I need to patch. And sometimes just using the forge, you know, you're gonna have pieces that come off the insulation, so it's good to have some you can patch up later. The instruction said it would be fine after 24 hours, and then I heat it. Well, I heated it, and it was still too wet. So what I should have done was tested it first just to see if I could poke it, if it was hard or not. So now I'm going to go ahead and recoat it, and I'm going to give it like four days, and I'll gradually heat it. All right, I've recoated my forge in the places where it needed it. So now I'm going to heat it up, and I'm going to see how it goes. So now I'm going to light it. I'm just going to be making sure everything looks like it should. I'm just going to have it on really low at first and then I'll gradually turn it up. Alright, so that's how you change the insulation and coat your forge. It goes really easy if you don't rush it like I did the first time. So the instructions say to give the Satan Eye 24 hours and then heat it and then wait an hour and then you're good to go. But it can depend on how humid it is wherever you are. So I just check the, the Satan Eye with your finger. Um, if you're able to push into it at all, if it's soft, give it some more time. You can also take a heat lamp and mount it and so the, the heat's just going right into the forge leave it on there for a while that'll speed things up if you're not in a rush I would just give it four or five days and then when you turn it on just have it really low heat for three minutes turn it off wait an hour and then you should be good to go if you guys like this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video